about, got the job for about more When I'm ballin' out, gon' say my name, no way you ball out Come and jump in the sand, though Don't try to see if you really got them love handles Then we can keep it rockin' all night like a band do Come and holla at me, we can go get candles because of confidential information that's laying around and it's really disastrous if anything gets picked up on camera it's no bueno anyways um yeah that's what i'm doing that's where i currently am that's why we're getting further behind on the channel um there's no like drama or anything crazy we're okay right now you guys should be watching our anniversary vlog which was from December which you guys should be watching that right about now and we just did a new song release so that's where we're currently at with the channels we do notice that the other two channels are doing a little bit better than this main channel home base so definitely check those out Little Red and Bunny Tracks and The Beautiful World of Bonita Turin anyways guys I gotta get back and dive into these tax returns. I could kind of like maybe show you guys how the hallway looks so that you can see like how backed up we are. There's no confidential information, but I could kind of like just show you from a distance how, um, how many files, tax files we accumulate in like a given week so that much I can't do. I just can't get too close. Alright, I'll come right back and show you guys. Setters, so I am back home. I'm getting ready to head back in the house. Um, and yeah, I had a short day. We just had one appointment. She had one, one appointment. She had one appointment, and then I was just kind of like there just to be kind of like a plus one um, for safety reasons. You know, as any woman watching, you already know um, safety in numbers, especially when you're. Um, when you're a lady you know just sometimes having an extra security of someone else there so we had one appointment and I was able to knock out a small tax return I was able to knock out a small tax return and so that's what I do I am a tax accountant now I transitioned from being a staff accountant and I'm just kind of more into uh, tax accountant I just like the end part of it I don't really want to be stuck in businesses day-to-day -day dramas in their accounting departments anymore I just want to be the end result I'm gonna clean up um, do minimal cleanup to books close file the tax return provide some financial statements clean those up if needed you know that's all I'm going to do now and honestly with this enrolled agent um license under my belt I'm hoping honestly I'm hoping and I know I say don't tell people what your goals are but I am hoping to re like do a partial like retirement to just being seasonal only um, working like six to eight months out of the year in accounting. Um, it's just been a really volatile career for me, accounting. I've had a lot of um, ups and downs in the field and just a lot of challenges in the field. So 
I'm kind of like wanting to reduce the amount of time. I think I might have found my pocket with tax, but I'm wanting to reduce my time and kind of like dedicate it more to other, um, free up some time for other streams of income and free up some time for my family, travel, and other, just other streams of income. Um, kind of seed more into some passive um passive income streams and also something something more like um something more fun kind of like something um something fun you know um so that's kind of like where i'm at right now and i was just grateful it was a short day because i thought it was going to be a um a longer day than it was. I got to talk to my boss about what her strategy is. She's older. Um, I don't know. There were some things I agree with the strategy and some things I don't agree with with the strategy, but I understand where she's coming from. Um, and so, yeah, I, um, I don't know. That's what I would eventually like to do. I just want to get into just doing this on a seasonal basis. I, I, by no means, I don't think, I think I've reached burnout with accounting. <laughs> so I just, I don't really want to do it year round anymore. Um, but tax, tax is a little bit better. Um, the thing about tax that it becomes stressful because I showed you guys is just the heavy volume. It's very, very heavy, heavy volume. The good thing about heavy volume is you can, you can bail high. But the bad part about heavy volume can be the stress, especially if you don't really have an area of expertise, which is why being an enrolled agent comes in handy. There's things that you can figure out relatively quickly and get in and out of a tax return, especially a 1040 corporate. They might take you a little bit longer, depending on the condition of the books and financial statements. So yeah, I'm boring you guys with all of that talk, but... That's kind of like where I'm at. That's where I've been at. That's why the channel is falling further and further behind because this is peak tax season. Peak tax season is January to April. So, um, oh, oh, y'all, that was her calling while I was recording. So, I'm probably gonna, um, head back in the house I saw a listing online I do look at business listings I don't know why I just look at them just to kind of like get an idea of things especially a restaurant maybe for Randall one day and just other things land um just businesses like restaurants and even um financial like now tax practices I've just been looking at those out of curiosity just to kind of like see price tags on those but um yeah that's where i'm at i really want to retire to seasonal um and that's just where i'm at if you guys ever need help um I, i'm kind of like gonna well i'm gonna take that part out i'm not even gonna put that in there but um if you guys ever need any help you want to pick my brain about things um you're welcome to email me ask me questions if you need help with um books tax financials whatever um i'm not cheap <laughs> i'm that cheap especially now that i'm an enrolled agent but i'm good and i'm up on like the current the current stuff because that's really important for people to be up on the current laws and just be in the know about beyond basic you want somebody to send the know about beyond basic tax situations and a lot of you guys as your channels become monetized you're gonna need to know um kind of like what what happens with that setting aside some of your revenues for taxes I, I'll, I'll give you all a general idea of some some problems that come up with people setting aside your your absence revenues to pay taxes on it um budgeting and getting estimates for that um what you can deduct and what you can't as far as your channel is concerned because this is a business um what else can I think of to pitch to you guys? Uh, just setting up books and stuff and just getting an idea of what a healthy set of, you know, books should look like and a healthy set of financial statements should look like. Um, so if y'all ever want to pick my brain, you're definitely welcome to, but like I said, I'm not cheap if I have to get in and start doing, you know, um, work or just more in-depth, like, questions. Um... 
yeah, I won't be doing that for free, but you know, if you ever need some help, um, definitely hit me up. Anyways, I am going to get ready to head in the house. I think I'm going to chill out for a little bit. I want to edit, but I don't know. It's so nice outside. I don't know. I might see what um, Randall's up to when he gets in. He usually just crashes. He usually just crashes when he gets in because he's so tired after being up since like 5, 5 a.m., 5.45 a.m. So, yep, I'm pretty sure the kids probably get just getting up and stuff, so... I'll come back at you guys later and see what we're going to do to salvage today. I know we need to do some grocery shopping, but honestly, I want to just order my groceries online and just pick them up. I really hate, like, wasting my weekends doing that. That's the other thing why if I can't just not work this summer months or the other, like, uh, four to, the, what is it, like, the other four to five months out of the year, I'm hoping maybe to just downscale to just part-time, like, maybe two to three days a week in the summer. Um, and yeah, that's just kind of like where my headspace is at with that right now. Um, oh yeah, y'all should be seeing a new release right now. We just released What's On Your Mind. Um, a lot of people ask if that's us. Yes, that's us. I will probably have Randall coming on camera to confirm. Yes, that's us on the tracks. Um, Randall is the star of the show. We already know that, you know, but, um, and I'm just, I kind of like just fell in. Um what harmonies and hooks and things and I do the mixing and mastering for now uh what else I feel like I'm rambling guys y'all feel like I'm rambling um what else um yeah so that's that's how the music is kind of like structured people have asked where um to find our music because I think it's a little confusing with us being a small time artist we don't do SoundCloud um we do not do SoundCloud anymore uh, we did SoundCloud in the very beginning when we just didn't quite know what we were doing, but we do not do SoundCloud. We are we are in streaming stores. The most recent thing that um, distribution surprised us with is they put us on Instagram. So we are now available. Our music is now available on Instagram stickers, um, and you can put them in your stories. And we're just everywhere. You name the platform, we're on there. From Deezer, Tidal, Pandora iTunes, um, when I say all platforms, I mean all platforms, so when I post that in like, I usually am the one that creates the stories and stuff, even on Randall's page, we kind of like co-manage his artist page, FYI, on Instagram, be careful what you send in messages, um, but yeah, we, we co-manage that Instagram account, because it's a professional account, um, and yeah, that's, uh, I, when I put those stories up saying all platforms, we're literally on all platforms. I think the latest surprise before, um, Instagram stories was that they put us on Amazon and we all, we also are available for downloads now for like $1.99. Anyways, guys, I don't know, maybe I'll put that on the behind the tracks. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get off of here. I really gotta get off of here. I think I the came down. And I'm ready to go in the house now. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Yeah.